straighten me out here. I tried to go through the timeline as best as I could, but we're going to talk about one championship, obviously. When you went over there, your first bout with, I'm going to call him Tim Nasty, um, that's the one that didn't go your way. And then yeah. you came back as a sub uh, into the uh, back into the Grand Prix, and you, you defeated Edward uh, Folayang. So now you were supposed to be in the final against Arslan, Arslan Neliev, but that's when the injury occurred and Christian Lee, the champion, stepped in. But with the whole pandemic going on, update us on your injury and update us on that whole situation. Can you get back, back into the final or do you just get the winner? Shake all this thing out for us. I, I'd love to get back in the final. i kind of been vying for it, been asking a promotion about it. Um, I've seen some stuff, some some recent like uh, media, them saying, oh, if I just get one or two more wins, then I can get back in the title. So. Um, I'll, I'll do what it takes. Um, I don't really, I want to, I want world championships and I want titles. Um, I've always been patient, but, um, I don't know. I just, I want bigger names and bigger fights. And I, if I haven't proven it in the past 17 years that I deserve big names and be on a massive stage and fight for world titles, then, um, you're just not watching the sport. So, um, if I can get in front of the champion, that'd be great. Um, if not, then I'll fight. I'll fight the number one contender, and then and then get there. So, um, it is what it is. Hopefully, one uh, one gets us a title shot. This look I'm giving you guys is for one championship management, <laughs> not for Eddie Alvarez. I can't believe that they think you need another fight or two to be involved in these big fights with the resume that you bring. Did you push back a little, Eddie? I mean, like, I mean, not insulting, but. To a fan and a media guy, it's a little bit like, hmm, uh, look at this guy's resume. You know, you, you took your lump in that first round of the tournament, but then you came back under the rules of being the sub. Yeah. So I, I don't understand. I, I want to see you in this in this final or guaranteed to fight the winner of the final. I mean, I, I would imagine that's why they signed someone of your caliber. Yeah, I, I mean – no disrespect to the champion, but I mean, I think he had, I think as, as many fights as he has, I I've had, I've probably fought for more world title fights than he has actual fights. So like, I don't, I don't feel like, um, I need to like prove my medal to someone like that. He's talented. He's, he's a hell of a great fighter, but, um, I mean, when it comes to resume and fighting world champions, I fought him one after another and he seems to want to fight me. He says to the media, I want to fight. I want to fight Eddie, and um, I'm I'm ready. And it's really just kind of one championship, waiting on them to uh, send an agreement to get him in front of me. Okay, but as it stands, as far as you know, the final doesn't involve you, and you'll just have to wait your next assignment. Then is that what you're saying? And you're also saying you're 100 percent healthy and ready to go. Yeah, I'm healthy and I'm ready to go. Um, it's it said like uh, one. They said one or two fights. So I, I don't I don't even know what that means. I'm not uh. You know, I'm not too keen on that. Right now, Americans can't fly over there. So, um, you know, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting on when all the restrictions get lifted. Me and, Demi me and Demetrius are. Because I'm just excited to get back in the, in the one championship circle and, and start competing. Yeah, I mean, I hope it gets sorted out soon. Because like I said, um, th I think that's why someone of your caliber does get signed to fight. But hey. Um, if you can't get over there as of now anyway, all right. I'm seeing a lot of visas being uh, lifted now, so that's good news. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, whatever. Now, how about other weight classes? Would you dabble in another weight class? It seems like a lot of fighters, especially from your era, do that. And, in fact, I remember seeing you fight in Japan as a welterweight even before you settled in at 100, at, at 155. And, and I know that you guys use the structure of, welterweight hydration to lightweight middleweight hydration yeah. so you know actually, what weight class up i i entered one championship as a as a lightweight but i'm like when i look around and i look at the field and even when i'm weighing in the night of the fights i'm like i'm i'm guys are double my size at that weight class so um i'm i'm really i'm just taking on all comers I, i'm undersized for the for the weight class but I, I've, I've had the last year, so I put on some muscle, put on some size to kind of uh, like kind of build into the weight class and get a little bit bigger. So um, I'm just doing some adjusting for for the new weight class that I'm in. It's 170 hydrated, but guys are still I mean, guys are big. Guys are big. And um, I just need to get used to the new weight. That's all.